of Captain Star, the greatest hero any world has ever known. Captain Star journeyed the universe in his ship, The Boiling Hell. His orders? To discover new worlds, name them after himself, and then sell them things. One day, the boiling hell arrived at the ragged edge of the universe, where Captain Star and his crew, Navigator Black, Atomic Engine Stoker Limbs Jones, and First Officer Scarlet, waited for orders from Mission Control. And waited. And waited. And waited. A mighty moment from the history of Captain Star. I was a gifted child and left the Captain's Academy age 12 to spend a year serving under Captain Ned Nova as trainee. Steer a middle course, Scar. These things look ugly. Great space. Full power, Scar. It's no good, Captain. They're pulling us in. Looks like we're plant food. Well, Star, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this matter. Abandon rocket, Captain? A rocket ship captain never abandons his rocket. Put your suit on, Captain. Splendid. We'll go outside and fight the brute one to one. Not quite, Captain. I'm going to release all the air in the spaceship. For a good reason, I hope. Yes, Captain. See, Captain, these deep space creatures aren't used to oxygen. To them, it's poison. Look, it's letting us go. Brilliant. Trainee Star, you are more than ready to move up to the ragged captain. Space Swift, migrating from one end of the universe to the other. Oh, lucky creatures. Something scared them. Open Cafe Patio Door, Navigator. But, Captain, it's cold outside. Open Cafe Patio Door immediately, Black. That's an order. Oh. Ah! <laughs> My babies. Oh. Oh. Hello, Black. Hello. Nine teas, I think. Thirsty work. Flying. You could have killed my fish. You've wrecked the cafe. You, you... Oh, what do you think you're doing? I'm teaching myself to fly. No more stoking. I'm going to become a pilot. Think I'm almost ready to take up the boiling hell herself, Captain? Not in a light year of Sunday, Stoker. Before I let you sit in the driving seat of the boiling hell, you must learn to take off and land the training rocket blindfolded while operating the controls with your teeth. Why, Captain? Why, indeedy. You never know when you'll be called upon to land a passenger rocket full of pensioners and small children in the dense, foggy atmosphere of a gas giant. I see. Visibility could be less than two inches, and the gravity so strong that your arms are pinned to your sides. It's happened to me many a time. I see, but if I can't see, how do I know where to go? Ah, that's why you need a navigator. Black! Oh! No! Please, Captain. <laughs> Turn 43 degrees right. No, oh, that is left. I'm rather well equipped for this. <laughs> Which way now, oh. Black? Oh. Well, what kind of direction is that? Black? Oh, you're too low. Up, up. Ah, help! We're going to die. Oh, what 
What's all the fuss oh. about? <gasps> oh. 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 We'll be eaten alive. I'll try harder next time. There won't be a next time, Jones. I'm walking home. It was incredible, Captain. Quite amazing. There was a slug. A slug? I see. There's what have you no done job. with my navigator? A slug the size of the boiling hell. Bigger. Even bigger than that! A There's gastropod no that big could only be a space slug. I wonder what it's doing down here. It should be up in space. Unlike Jones, who should obviously remain on the ground. But, Captain... No buts, Jones. But... No, Jones. But... Jones! What in space is that? I found it after the crash. Uh, landing, Captain. It was inside the slug. Inside the slug? When we hit the slug's stomach... <coughs> and out it came. Boiling salts! It's a statue of Ned Nova! Nova's career was illustrious. He discovered planets Nova 1 to Nova 115, a record not beaten until my own humble discovery of 1498 planets. Is that a space compass he holds in his hand? No, Jones. It's a cheese sandwich. Oh. The man loved his cheese. Students, it is a great privilege to have Captain Nova here today. The stacker decker plane. We discovered that the more wings you had, the higher you could go. There's no job. Getting into space was simply a matter of adding more wings. In those days, you needed to wrap up well. Those early rockets had no heaters and the infinite cold of deep space freezes your bones. He was my hero, and he soon became my teacher. Incredible. You've beaten the highest score ever achieved on the simulator by myself many years ago. Well done, lad. You'll go far indeed if you want to. I want to go to the furthest unexplored ends of the universe, Captain Nova, with you. Power on, Captain. Set a course for the furthest unexplored ends of the universe, trainee Captain. Captain? 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 Ned Nova was a very great hero. Statues of him were everywhere at one time. This space slug interests me. Really, Scarlet? Space interests me, but not slugs. They probably have some fascinating habits. Well, so long as you don't tell me about them. Fair enough, Captain. <laughs> <laughs>